Ok, Shalom, Shalom, Kwame Asha Allah, Koholoyimla, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Kahadash. Double honors to our apostles and elders of Great Millstone who rule well, that by the Spirit taught us this beautiful truth. They just want to say the water to all the Akim and Akwaf that's out here sincerely keeping the laws, the statutes and commandments of Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, to the best of their ability. Shachanan Awaf. Just coming at you with another quick, quick lesson. Um, praying that it's edifying by the Spirit. And um, just wanted to go off into this news article with Brandon T. Jackson. Right? It says, Brandon T. Jackson says his friend, Jamie Foxx, hospital hospitalization has left him scared as he prays for his recovery. Yeah, you ought to be scared. You should be scared on the end of the Lord is going to destroy you, man, if you don't repent and get it together, man. Because we're living in the very last days, man. And you got Hebrew Israelites. That's why the Lord said he's going to start with his sanctuary. He's going to start with, with, with people, our people that know that they're Israelites first, man. Like, you know you're an Israelite and you're and you're just not doing the work. You're just out here just living like a nigga, man. You see what I'm saying? So, now, because Brandon T., he knows he's an Israelite. Let's get it right here, see? Let's, um, I'm going to click back. Now, as you can see, there's plenty, you know, let's go to the top. This is a video right here where he knows he's an Hebrew Israelite. See, he got the garb on, got the, you know, the, the head wrap, you know, but now all of a sudden in this video, you know, he's got the, the, the hair lined up with the, uh, you know, with the, with the bun, you know, the long hair bun, his hair in a bun, he didn't wear our hair in no bun, man. You know what I'm saying? We, we roll with the law, statutes, and commandments of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. So let me get that real quick and I'll just play his video and see how he's praying for, uh, your boy Jamie out here, man. Uh, what was that? Um. In fact, I didn't go into it, but let's get a. Uh, what's that? First Corinthians. Yeah, First Corinthians eleven and fourteen. And it reads, "Do if not even nature itself teach you that if a man have long hair, it is a shame unto him." I'd have had people on the comment boards before, like, "Well, what's the problem with him having?" But a lot of a lot of our brothers that come into this truth, they're new to this truth, they don't know. That they're not supposed to have long hair like that, man. That was that was basically like a Greek fashion, you know. That's why um, the Apostle Paul was going in on the Corinthians, where you know, because uh, Jake was living, you know, after the customs of the heathen. Now the law says um, you're not supposed to mar your beard, right, or around the corners of your head. Uh, Salakia. So let's get that real quick, and I'll go off into this video. Leviticus 19 and 27, ye shall not round the corners of your beard, of your heads. Ye shall not round the corners of your heads, neither shalt thou mar the corners of thy beard. You're not That word mar goes into destroy. You're not supposed to do anything like that. You're supposed to just let your beard grow. Now, you can, you can trim it. I mean, down. You can cut it down if you don't want it that long. You know what I'm saying? But when the straight comes down to it, you can't just put no razor to it and get to, you know, edging it. And, and making a whole another form of edge as a, you know, different from what way that the Lord created it to be. You see what I'm saying? So, like I said, again, let's go off into it. Now, this is this is um, where they got the video on um, YouTube, TMZ. Well, let me see if we can get it from here. About the same length. I probably think, you know, TMZ. My prayers uh, for, for Jamie is for a, a speedy recovery, a full recovery, and also... You know, just that uh, whatever is going on in his body, that we, we, we that he could really uh, adjust it with any any type of uh, recovery and health. So you know, I'm just it's just to me, it's really hard. It's really hard because it's, I don't know. What, 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 I don't know. What, what, hey man, we pray. So we'll do that. We pray. To me. Now the point that I wanted to get to too as well. Check out this prayer that he says. Now this whoever this guy is from TMZ. And I'm not sure if it's one of those Edomites. It could be, though. But, you know, he's basically going off into, you know, well, let's, you know, let's pray for Jamie Foxx right now, basically. Now, this prayer that he's saying, he's not praying in no names. <laughs> he's not even saying, uh, 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 well, good. I'm glad he didn't say uh, JC or Jesus Christ, the so-called white man, that, uh, that damn idol that our people are so accustomed to. But he did not mention Yahweh or Yahweh Shai. He just said a plain old... I want a Grammy prayer. I want to thank God. You know what? God, nigga. You know what I'm saying? But let's get it, though. It's really hard. It's really hard because it's scaring. It's starting to scare me a little bit. I ain't going to lie. Like, you know, we pray for Jamie right now. Pray for you Jamie. Know? Ask God to put his hands around him.
him and put his and let the comfort for his family, God. We just ask you that whatever is your will, let it be done, Father. But we want to send love and prayers to that family. In your holy and righteous name, we pray. So be it. Amen. Amen. Okay, so what, what's the Lord's name? You don't think that he knows the Lord's name? He knows the Lord's name, man. We just showed you that he was right in front of um the GMS camp. Or did I pull that up? Here you go right here. So lucky. I, I may not have. Well, let's pull this up. He's right here in front of GMS Inspiration and Motivation. The brothers, hey, they just spoke to him like um two months ago. You know, that's him right there. He knows he's an Hebrew, Hebrew Israelite, man. Jamie Foxx should know. Don't think Jamie Foxx don't know that he's a Hebrew Israelite, man. You see what I'm saying? But, but what is Jake doing, man? Jake is not out here, you know, um, full-fledged coming into this truth, man. See? Here you go. I'm, I'm rich. Bishop Nathaniel. Needs to come see me. See that? Come on, man. Just. So you got to come full fledged into this truth, man. And another thing, you know, it's brothers. Hey, you know, you got brothers like. um. Well, I can't even call them brothers. You, but you got people like Kendrick Lamar. You know, uh, it, man, it's a treasure trove of artists and, and um, people that's in the industry. Now, don't get me wrong. Some of them are sleeper cells. They're really, you know, um, in, in the backgrounds, you know, um, really. Praising you how about Shimia was shy, you know, they just are not out there on the streets Who knows they could be donating from the background, but you know, there are some that really really believe they know But some of them man is just out here on front street and they know for for real who they are and they're not helping in this ministry Man, it's, it's crazy man but Let's get this because this this scripture came to my um Luke 9 and 62 it says and Yahweh shy said unto him no man Having put his hand to the plow and looking back is fit for the kingdom of Yahweh. See, see, he, he came in and he somewhat put his hand to the plow. I think he had shoes. You know, he's out here trying to sell merchandise. And, and basically, you know, just um, when I first seen him, he was basically, you know, just making merchandise of the of, of the um, the truth, man. You know what I'm saying? Matter of fact, that's why when you just seen this one, you know, what he was talking about, uh, IUIC, I'm rich. Come see me. And he was trying to he was trying to form something. At one point in the game, but anyway, I mean, you know, he's out here, man, and and and, and it's hard. That's why the scripture goes off into um, it's hard for uh, a rich man, or basically someone with with status. It's hard for them to come um, full fledged into this truth, man, because they don't want to give up what they have. You see what I'm saying? You, 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 you're going to have to give up some things, man, when you first come into this truth, man, because we all have goals, aspirations, you know, and, and, and things that we wanted to do. We was good at certain things, but it was all worldly, man. It was all some old wicked shit, man. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, that's a part of coming into this truth, like, you know, and, and, show, and, and somewhat, you know, giving the Lord a sign, like, I'm, 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 I'm willing to follow you. Like, the, 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 the thing that I love most, Lord, I'm giving it up for you, you know, like type of deal. That's how you know someone is loyal, man. And there, there comes, you know, tests, you know, along the, um, you know, along the way, you know. But initially, you're gonna give up the bullshit, man. You know. And at one point, I thought that he did, but anyway, that yeah, that was a weak ass prayer. You know what I'm saying? And then why are you praying for Jamie Foxx, man? Jamie Foxx know he's a Hebrew Israelite. Jamie Foxx out here doing all manner of wickedness, man. Jamie Foxx is is not out here, um. Jamie is not out here uh, changing his life up, man. So the Lord is making it an, an example of him, man. You see what I'm saying? He's making a, a clear example of this guy, man. Now, no one really knows what he's in the hospital for, but we know that when you're into that industry and you're traveling like how they travel, you have to roll those sleeves up. And you know what rolling that sleeve up means. You know what I'm saying? So ain't no telling what's going on with the man. Because normally, that's just like with... Uh, Andrew Wiggins, right? Now, when Andrew Wiggins came into the, you know, he, he's been out. He just came back into the NBA, you know what I'm saying, a little, little few games back. But he's been out, man. I think he was out, man, for about damn near 15 games and, and was talking about, you know, uh, well, we don't know what's going to no, Generally, that's not the case, man. That is not the case. Generally, you 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 can't just sit out, especially when you're a big name like that. You can just sit out and and, and and nobody knows what's going on with you. That's something real rare, man, as far as um 
this this any industry goes, man, when it comes to entertainment. That's that's some hard shit, man. You you can I'm, I'm talking about for real, because you know you'll have these people say respect our privacy, respect the privacy of our family. Hey, they you know people don't respect that shit, man. Especially a, a, a spot like TMZ. You don't think that TMZ wouldn't wouldn't love to run? You come on, man. You don't think that it, somebody knows some? His ass probably, hey, well, I ain't, you know, I don't want to bear no false witness or don't want to say exactly. I don't know what's going on with him, but we'll see. But, you know, hey, Andrew Wiggins, he came back. We see that he was out there doing his thing. But when it straight comes down to it, man, hey, we know that you got to go and take them things. When you gonna, hey, and, and it's a lot of people. It's a lot of, it, I've been seeing it all week long. All type that, just like this one lady, uh, I can't think of her name right off, um, was in the Olympics, won those goals. 33 years old, uh, 32 years old, she was modeling and all kinds of stuff. You don't die all of a sudden in the prime of your 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 life when you're the healthiest, man. A lot of soccer players, there's been a lot of um children in school, a lot of it's been a, um you know, I've just been hearing about a lot of stories about cardi, you know, cardi this, cardio that, whatever. You know what I'm trying to say cuz I don't want to say too much. But man, come on, man. <laughs> come on. It's too much of that shit and ain't no telling, man. But anyway, that weak ass prayer that he said let's go back into it let's see what else he said that was a real weak ass prayer because he did not mention the lord he didn't say yahweh he didn't say yahweh shy that, that, that was a, let me back that up a little bit that was real weak of him and then here you go you you letting some so-called white man lay his hand on you with a tattoo on his hand with that appears to be an edomite salakia because i really don't know but here you go some of you 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 forming a prayer at at the damn airport man you're supposed to be in your closet basically praying, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, I'll throw one up for him. You know, whatever, whatever, when I get to the crib. You know what I'm saying? But this right here is a weak prayer, man. I ain't gonna lie. Like, you know, we pray for Jamie right now. Pray for you Jamie. We ask God to put his hands around him put his, and let the comfort for his family, God. We just ask you that whatever is your will, let it be done, Father. But we want to send love and prayers to that family. In your holy and righteous name we pray. So be it. Amen. Amen bro. There's all so many rumors, bro. Like nobody, they, the family isn't saying anything, you know, and a lot of people, so, you know, but we, we want, I've, I've heard that rumor. I've heard so many rumors. I don't know. What, what, um, what, do you know what happened at this point? From, from, from sources, you know, that are close are all saying the same thing. Sure. So, uh, but I can never, I can't speak for the family. No, you're not going to speak. Yeah, oh, no, I, I can't, can't, I can't have anything definitive. I'm not no. a doctor. Yeah. I'm not a medical practitioner. I don't do it. I'm just a, a, a fellow colleague and somebody that you know that uh you know that is a friend so i pray that whatever it is you know i gotta be honest it's, it's a little it's, it's scaring me yeah as a friend and um right now i'm just i'm, I'm really praying for for him to to have a speedy recovery and I, love you, I hope the world joins you too in that prayer right? please i hope they do too that's right hey thank you so much that man. works is there remember that i will, I will. what do you say Faith without works is dead. It, it, it is ironic that he would say that. Where's your works, though? What kind of works? He had an opportunity. You on TMZ. You say you should have been like, hey, look, man. Hey, we're Hebrew Israelites. We're living in the last days. You know what I'm saying? Um, Jamie Foxx, hey, look, brother, you a Hebrew Israelite, man. It's high time to awake out of sleep and repent. Here you go talking about faith without works is dead. You're not doing what? Where's your work? That wasn't no work right there. You know how many people watch TMZ? Now, had they want to throw up his interview. That would have been up to them after he said what he said, but he should have been bold for the Lord. Speaking on the Lord's behalf, you know what I'm saying? Bringing out them scriptures. He he brings out a scripture at the end. Faith without works is dead. After that weak ass prayer, man. That, not cool, man. So, it's so not cool, man. But again, you know, these, these things are not surprising because like I said again, when people come off, when people are in that industry, it's, it, it's, it's a hard deal, man, for them to get out of it. You know, um, because they don't want to basically lose that that fame. They don't want to lose that money. They don't want to lose, you know what I'm saying, what's going on. They don't want to lose none of that stuff. They don't want to lose none of that stuff, man. It's it, like, you know, hey, that's just like um, when Yahweh Shai, you spoke to the uh, the young man. What was it? Uh, says, um, give up and follow me or give up all that. He was like, you know, I've been following the commandments. Uh, where's that at? Uh, 
Mm, it's like you. <laughs> you said he was doing it since it's you. He says, from my youth. That's what he said. Yeah, they just get the account and uh Oh yeah, let's get into Matthew. Matthew chapter 19, verse 20. The young man said, uh, let me see. Um uh, let's start up some. Verse 18. He saith unto him, uh, no, let me let me start up one more. So like here. Let me start for 16. And behold, one came and said unto him, Good master, what good thing shall I do that I may have eternal life? And he said unto him, Why callest thou me good? There is none good but one, that is, that is Yahweh. But if thou wilt enter into life, keep the commandments. <laughs> now, I was, uh, my brother brought this um, scripture out today, too. Uh, now, you have, don't, you, what up with it, cuz? Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, what's the deal? Yeah, that's my cousin. Even passed by, I rarely see him. Anyway, um, Salakia, but the brother brought it out, and we ha we do have to um, you know, qualify that that we do try and keep the commandments to the best of our ability. But now th that it's not our salvation is not dead set on that alone. You know what I'm saying? It's not dead set on that alone because we are you know saved by grace. We are saved by what our Lord Yahweh Shah done. Faith, you know. And, and grace basically you know what i'm saying so don't get it twisted because that's the reason why the lord came to begin with because we couldn't keep the commandments so don't get it twisted we do try and keep them to the best of our ability because we love our lord you know what i'm saying he says if you love me keep my commandments so we try our best to do what we can you know and we understand he understands that we're in captivity and, and that in this captivity we can't fully 100 percent keep all the law statutes and commandments but he 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 definitely knows the heart so with that, let's keep on going. It says, and he saith unto him, which, let me start back from the top, from 17. And he said unto him, why callest thou me good? There is none good but one, that is Yahweh. But if thou wilt enter into life, keep the commandments. He saith unto him, which, Yahweh said, thou shalt, thou shalt do no murder, thou shalt not commit adultery, thou shalt not steal, thou shalt not bear false witness, Honor thy father and thy mother, and thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. Now here's the point here. The young man said unto him, All these things have I kept from my youth. What lack I yet? Yahweh said unto him, If thou wilt to be if thou wilt be perfect, go and sell that that thou hast, and give to the poor, and thou shalt have treasure in heaven, and come and follow me. See? But the but the young man heard that saying, he went away sorrowful. For he had great possessions. So, you know, when it comes down to, you know, um, being in a position like how a Brandon T. Jackson is, you know, it, it's hard, man. You know, it says, uh, what's that? A, a, a rich man. Talking about the eye of a needle. Matthew 19 and 24. And again, I say unto you, it is easier for a camel to go through the eye of a needle. Than for a rich man to enter into the kingdom of Yahweh. See? It's hard, man. You know? And, and the scriptures talks about um wise and noble. The Lord didn't give this to um the wise, noble, and a uh, LeBron James or a uh, Michael Jordan or a uh, Shaquille O'Neal. You know what I'm saying? He gave it to the the uh the lowly somewhat, right? Okay, that's first Corinthians. Let's get that um Start at verse 20. Start at verse 25. First Corinthians 1 and 25. Because the foolishness of Yahweh is wiser than men. And the weakness of God, Yahweh, is stronger than men. For ye, for ye see your calling, brethren, how that not many wise men after the flesh, not no bunch of smart ass people. You know, that's, you know, um, physically smart. You know, they're just a damn mathematician. A Neil, uh, uh, the, uh, what's his name? Um, the, uh, what's this guy's name? The guy, he be bugged out anyway. The scientists, uh, who are some more, you know, um, high profile guys that's, you know, got some, some, some wisdom as far as the world. The Lord is not calling people like that, man. It says, for ye see your calling, brethren, how that not many wise men after the flesh, 
not many mighty, not many noble are called. See, ain't no 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 Mike Tyson's being called there, yeah, no no Anthony Davis's, no. You know what I'm saying? Now it's you know a lot of those brothers know they're Hebrew Israelites though. Like I said, it's a little backdrop of them that's you know they they in the low key sleeper cell area, man. You know what I'm saying? And I you know when things jump off a little bit more maybe the lord will probably activate them a little bit more but you know who knows it says but yahweh hath chosen the foolish things of the world to confound the wise and yahweh hath chosen the weak things of the world to confound the things which are mighty and base things of the world and things which are despised hath hath yahweh chosen see we're despised you see yeah and things which are not to bring bring to naught things that are that no flesh should glory in his presence see and it's kind of what he was doing at first when i first seen this guy but you know i just wanted to just touch on this for a hot second man um you know if you put your hands to the plow keep it popping man you know and if you if you're feeling like you're getting weak or if you're getting faint pray to yahweh about shimmy was shy to give you strength man um pray that um you know yahweh about shimmy was shy will not you know blow out your candlestick or take away his holy spirit from you you know what i'm saying just keep it moving you know keep on if you got a fast fast if you're feeling like you're feeling faint, you know, or feeling weak, you know, because summertime is coming, man, and, and this place is crazy. I mean, summer is already here, <laughs> but, man, you're about to, it's about to be a lot of shit going on out here, man, that can pull you away from this truth, and that's what we're praying to Yahweh about Shimei Amashah that he would not allow to happen to us, man. You know, so when I seen this, I'm looking at Brandon T. Like, man, that was a real weak-ass prayer, man. You didn't mention the Lord. You, you had every opportunity, and like I said, it was up to TMZ to use that footage. They, they could have said, well, no, nah, we ain't about to use. But you think you think that Brandon T was going to put himself on blast and say, yeah, you know, Yahweh Bashimi, I was shy, you know, is the true name of the father and son, you know. Yahweh Shai <laughs> is our savior. No, nah, he wasn't going off all off into all that, man. Yahweh, his name means he exists or he is, the, you know, the existing one. Yahweh Shai means that he's the savior or deliverer. And that's who Jamie really need to get in, 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 um, in sync with. He wasn't going to do any of that, man. <laughs> no, I can't even see it. That was a real weak ass player. prayer. Matter of fact, let's get it back, man. That, that was a real seriously weak, weak ass prayer, man. Super weak. Let's get back to it. Let's get straight to it. How are you guys? Go that way. Go that way. It's not going to help us. Go. That's right. Oh, okay, now he went to something else. <laughs> It's a lot. It's a lot. Yeah, I wanted to see that again. Let's see. Real weak prayer, man. No, just uh, recover. In your holy and righteous name, we look at that. Yep. Put us and let the comfort for his family, God, with his ass. It's really hard because it's scaring. It's starting to scare me a little bit. I ain't gonna yeah, lie. Like you know, we pray for Jamie right now. Pray for you Jamie. Know what I'm ask God to put his hands. Around him, put his and let the comfort for his family, God. We just ask you that whatever is your will, let it be done, Father. But we want to send love and prayers to that family in your holy and righteous name. We pray, so be it, amen. amen. In your holy, righteous name, we pray, so be it. So, what, what's his name? Because the, the average person that would see this, they would think that you're talking about white Jesus. The average, for real, like, come on, man. <laughs> that was a real weak ass prayer, man. And the Lord gonna deal with niggas like this, man. You know, cause a hey, hey, matter of fact, that's hey, you, you know, that's being ashamed, really. They're ashamed. These, these, hey, these, Jake be knowing, man. But they're ashamed to speak up for Yahweh Bashimi Shai, man. They're scared to speak in His name, man. They're scared to speak His word and tell the truth. See, He's worried about these earthly possessions. He's not. He's not worried about um. You know what's gonna happen in the future here, and in, in a soon future to come with what's happening, because all these prophecies are coming to pass real, real, uh, real, real quick, man. Things going down out here. These prophecies are not slowing up, man. These things are starting to starting to come to pass, man. <laughs> so you know he's not thinking about his, you know, um, his future as far as like the kingdom, man. You know he's thinking about, you know, uh, look at me. I'm, I, you know, I'm out here. I'm doing my thing. I'm. <laughs> uh, you know, I'm, 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 you know, it's just, it's ridiculous, man. He had every opportunity. You know how many people watch TMZ? Because, like I said again, he could have said, "Well, hey, look, y'all use the footage if you're gonna use it, but if you're not gonna use it, hey, that's up to you. I don't give a shit. I said what I said. You know, I believe in Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. That's me. Nope, nothing, <laughs> nothing. That weak ass prayer, man. He should have just been like, oh, well, you know what, man? Oh, you know, I'm just gonna, hey." 
I'm gonna throw one up for him, man. You know, you 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 know whatever. <laughs> yeah, that was weak, man. But anyway, with that, I pray that the lesson was edifying. Kwame Shola.